kitchen today I'm going to make Wiener Schnitzel. So for the Wiener Schnitzel you will need a very thin piece of veal. I have an egg wash here with two eggs and some milk and salt and pepper which I'm going to whisk up and combine all the ingredients. And then you're going to need some flour and some breadcrumbs. We need a lemon for the decoration later. We need some safflower oil. That's for to bake the schnitzel in the pan. And I like to use the safflower oil because it's neutral in taste. It can take a lot of heat. I need some butter. And I need a little bit of olive oil because I need to flatten out my schnitzel. Um, I don't have one of those meat hammers to pound the schnitzel, so I'm just going to use the back of my pan. So, I have a little bit of saran wrap here, which I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on. Spread that out. Put my piece of veal. You see this is already pretty thin, but the middle could be a little thinner. Put this on here. Add another piece. Of saran wrap. If I can get this out. And I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on top of the meat so it doesn't stick to the saran wrap. There you go. So let's pound our meat. You're ready? That looks good. So we're going to start with our flour. And you really just want a thin layer of flour, so don't press the flour in there, just sprinkle it generous on top. Make sure you get every piece of meat and make sure you shake off the excess flour. There you go. Now it goes into our egg wash. And now it goes into the breadcrumbs. And you don't want to press your breadcrumbs in there because a traditional Wiener Schnitzel has, is very loosely breaded and it's supposed to sort of come away from the meat when it's done in the pan and it will create sort of little waves. So we don't want to press the breadcrumbs in there. Sort of just sprinkle them on top. And that's how this should look. And now let's go over to the stove and fry our schnitzel. So let's turn some light on so you see something. Turn the oven on, the stove on. And in goes our safflower oil. Oops. We need to open that one first. and you want lots of oil in the pan. You want your schnitzel to sort of swim round in there. And we need some butter. And make sure this is really hot before you put your schnitzel in there. You see all the bubbles, which is a sign that the, the, um, the pan is hot and the oil is hot and the butter has heated up. So let's add our schnitzel. Okay. 
And now, I said to you earlier, the schnitzel should swim in the pan, and we're going to make these movements here back and forth. you got to be careful because everything is really hot, of course. I don't know if you can see this, but you see how the crust is coming up here and here? That's how this should be. You see how beautiful this comes up now? Gorgeous. I think we can flip it now. There you go. See how even on this side we have those beautiful waves? This is going to be so yummy. Well, I think our schnitzel is ready. Look at this beautiful color. And I've laid my schnitzel on a little paper towel so it can, all the excess oil can go in there. So now all we need is a little piece of lemon here that will go on top of our schnitzel. And there you go. Can you see this? Perfect Wiener schnitzel. It smells so good. So I'm going to go enjoy this. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time in Alexa's Kitchen. Bye bye.